The circumstances surrounding Steve Hyde's murder are bizarre and sound oddly similar to that of 28-year-old Edilberto Madrid. Madrid was a close associate of Russell Hyde. He went missing on Sunday morning after he left this shop to go over to his sister's house a few yards away. Madrid never arrived that day. A search in the Young Yalbank Road turned up a body butchered almost beyond recognition. Madrid's head and limbs had been chopped off, and he'd been gutted. Only his tattoos helped his family to identify him when his body was fished out of the Belize River just below the Agrippina Kowich Bridge. On Tuesday, when we spoke with the family, they were inconsolable. They didn't want to talk about how Madrid was killed. We went and we searched, searched, searched for about three hours, nothing. And we decided to come back to the area where he went missing and we went along the riverside and that's where we saw the white thing in the water stuck beside the branches. Body parts was missing. We only recognized him due to the tattoos on his body. Body parts in including his head? Yes, ma'am. Was he found nude? Yes. No, he was not receiving any message. He is well known in the village, well known to everybody, and he's honestly not a saint in the area. Everybody know him. And I know he personally has a lot of enemies, but not right now I can't say anything about who would want to do this. When you heard he went missing, did you ever think that this would this is what you would find today? No, Mom. I never expected that way. And you guys haven't heard perhaps if it's a retaliation for anything or perhaps someone had, you know, beef with him, anything at all? No, Mom, not that I could see. Not that I could see. Mm -hmm. I know he had several run-ins with the law, but that's about it. Nothing that you'd think he would get killed over? But who killed Madrid? Reports are that earlier today some of his limbs and personal belongings were discovered near where his body was found. And while Belmapan police have been mum on Madrid's murder, we know that Russell Hyde has been detained for questioning since Tuesday. With several theories ventilated, some are saying that it's a message being sent. But to whom? Was it to Russell Hyde? The notorious Roaring Creek resident was in the news on Monday, May 18th, after his wife, Roselia Galvez, was fatally shot when she was traveling in this black pickup truck near the Guanacaste Park. A man came out of the bushes and fired multiple times, hitting Roselia to the head. When we spoke with Hyde just over a week ago, we asked him if the bullets were meant for him. He didn't seem too sure, but he said it was a planned hit. But... He wasn't seeking revenge. I, I, I can't save that my wife or me, but um, the angle where they come from, they don't come on my side, but um, maybe um, it could be me, maybe it could be she, maybe it could be. She, but they fired and shot and uh, killed somebody, and um, hopefully they could um, catch up with the killer and. Um, the policeman do their job because I don't want to do no job. I just want peace. I just want them to do their job. I won't involve her. I won't, you know. I left it to the Almighty. And you guys didn't get any any threats? Anybody try, you know, send you guys a message? Uh, basically, um, I, I no I no got no threats and no, you know, so. Uh, that's about it. I, I never expect. I just, you know. Do you think they were waiting for you guys there? Someone must have known that you guys were passing by. I mean, it looked like they were waiting. Um, I feel like somebody called from the, um, from the um, entertainment spot and tell them I'm leaving, something like that. You guys didn't see, and the son, your sons were in the back of the truck. Um, you guys didn't see who the person was. I mean, the description, anything? Well, we get um, more slightly, but um, it was slightly glimpsed. And so it seems Russell Hyde is the common factor in all these murders. But is it a coincidence, or is it a master plan by design? Is it just to target those closest to Hyde to cause him pain, or? Are these killings a sign of his fate? But 
Maybe there is something more sinister to these killings than we can presume. Perhaps, but only time will tell. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.